the universe hums with a secret song, a symphony of probabilities played out at the quantum level. Here, particles defy our everyday intuition, existing not in a single, definite state, but as a blurry superposition of all possible states simultaneously. It's as if a coin could be both heads and tails until the act of observation forces it to choose. This mind-bending phenomenon is the observer effect, the cornerstone of quantum realities. Erwin Schrödinger, a towering figure in quantum physics, famously grappled with this bizarre reality with his thought experiment of Schrödinger's cat. Imagine a cat sealed in a box with a vial of poison and a radioactive source. If the source decays, it triggers the release of the poison, killing the cat. But until we open the box, the cat exists in a superposition of states, alive and dead at the same time. The act of observation, of collapsing the wave function, determines the cat's fate. This experiment highlights the unsettling entanglement between consciousness and reality. Are particles simply passive observers of our gaze, or does the very act of looking influence their existence? Carl Jung, the influential psychologist, ventured beyond the sterile lab setting to explore the implications of the observer effect in the realm of the psyche. He introduced the concept of synchronicity, the meaningful coincidence of events that seem to defy chance. Have you ever thought intensely about someone and then received a call from them moments later? Or stumbled upon a book that perfectly addressed a question churning in your mind? Jung saw these as whispers from the unconscious, reflections of a deeper interconnectedness between the inner and outer worlds. This resonates with Eastern philosophies like Vedanta, which have long held the mind as the weaver of reality. The Upanishads, ancient Indian scriptures, declare Prajnanam Brahma, meaning consciousness is Brahman, the ultimate reality. Our thoughts and perceptions, they propose, aren't mere byproducts of the brain, but potent forces painting the canvas of our experience. Modern proponents of quantum realities take these ideas a step further. Neuroscientist David Eagleman argues that our brains aren't simply passive receivers of information, but active participants in shaping the world around us. Through a complex interplay of thoughts, beliefs, and intentions, we influence the probabilistic dance of subatomic particles, nudging them towards the realities we desire. Imagine a vast sea of possibilities, and our focused attention acts like a lighthouse, illuminating a specific path. Here, skepticism rears its head. Critics point out that quantum mechanics operates in the microscopic realm, far removed from the coffee cups and car keys of our everyday lives. How can our thoughts possibly influence the trajectory of a speeding car or the outcome of a lottery ticket? Proponents counter this argument by suggesting that consciousness isn't confined to the skull. It's a field, a web of interconnected energy that permeates the universe. Our thoughts and intentions, they say, ripple outwards, influencing this field and subtly shaping the probabilities that govern our lives. The burgeoning field of quantum biology lends weight to this idea exploring the possibility of quantum phenomena influencing biological processes within our bodies. Neuroplasticity, the brain's remarkable ability to change and adapt throughout life, offers a bridge between the mind and the material world. By actively focusing our thoughts and beliefs, we can strengthen specific neural pathways, altering the way we perceive and interact with the world. This, in turn, can influence the outcomes we experience. For instance, Harvard psychologist Herbert Benson's research on the power of focused intention and healing demonstrates how our minds can impact our physical well-being. Through focused meditation and positive affirmations, 
patients were shown to improve their immune response and manage chronic pain. This suggests that our internal state isn't merely a reflection of external circumstances, but a potent force capable of shaping our reality. So, does the mind truly alter the universe in a grand way? Science is still grappling with this profound question. The mystery of quantum realities compels us to look beyond the limitations of the material world and consider the power of consciousness. Perhaps, as physicist Fred Allen Wolf said, the universe is not a random collection of particles, but a symphony of possibilities waiting to be played. We may not be able to control everything with our thoughts, but the observer effect and the interconnectedness of the universe suggest our thoughts and intentions hold a potency we're only beginning to understand. This challenges our traditional view of reality as a purely objective, predetermined existence. One of the most intriguing aspects of the observer effect is the question of whether it's a one-way street. Does consciousness simply collapse the wave function of a quantum particle, or is there a more reciprocal relationship? Some physicists propose a participatory universe model, where consciousness itself is woven into the fabric of reality. Our observations wouldn't just be collapsing possibilities, they could be actively shaping them. As we delve deeper into the strange and beautiful world of quantum mechanics, the lines between mind and matter continue to blur. Neuroplasticity research demonstrates how our thoughts can literally reshape our brains, while studies in quantum biology hint at the possibility of quantum phenomena influencing biological processes. This interconnectedness invites us to explore a more holistic view of ourselves, where mind and body are not separate entities, but different aspects of a unified whole. The question then becomes, if our thoughts and intentions hold some influence over reality, how can we harness this power? Can we learn to focus our attention in a way that shapes our experiences in a positive way? This line of inquiry opens exciting possibilities for the future of personal development and well-being. The symphony of the universe remains unfinished, a vast composition with countless potential melodies waiting to be played. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of consciousness and the observer effect, we may discover a deeper understanding of our place within this grand song of existence.